Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Christmas inspired makeup look. So first I'm going to put on some First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Moisturizer, which is one of my holy grails. And then I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills The Brow Pomade in the color Auburn. Then I'm going to comb them up and use that concealer as a primer for my eyelids. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using the color Tempera from the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to pack this all over the lid, the crease and the brow bone. Now for my transition colors, I'm going to be mixing Kokomo Cafe and Harvest Brown from Coastal Scents. To give the crease a little bit more of dimension, I'm going to put on some caramel and blend it on the crease a little bit lower than the other colors that I already used. So I wanted a base, like a golden green base, so I grabbed this Kiko Milano eyeshadow in the color 108 and pack it all over the lid. To create a halo eye, I'm going to be using the color Balsam on the outer and inner part of the eye, leaving a, a blank space right in the middle of the lid. In the middle of the eye, I'm going to be using Canary Gold and then I'm going to apply some gold glitter from Blitzy. I don't remember right now the name of the glitter, but I'm going to be listing everything down below on the description box. But the glitter glue that I use is from the same brand, Blitzy, and I found that at Sally's store. Now for the liner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Gel Liner and the Sigma E10 Small Eyeliner Brush, which has become one of my favorite brushes to do a wing, and especially for the inner wing, it's just amazing and very easy to do. If you want me to do a very in-depth um, how to do a wing liner, let me know by giving a thumbs up to this video and I'll try my best to do it before um, New Year's Eve. So if you want this, give it a thumbs up so I know. Now I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector in the color Peach to correct my dark circles and I really recommend it. It's very very good and very inexpensive. For foundation I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation which I love. I really really love this foundation. It's very buildable and for me it's like an amazing match so I'm really in love with this one right now and it's not that high in price it's only $25 but I already did a first impression on this foundation and right now I just love it especially with this brush um, the spoon brushes this is like a dupe for the artist brush which I got on eBay 
I'm going to be doing a review of them later on, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, if you want to see the review of the Anastasia Stick Foundation, it's going to be linked down below. To further plan and to take the excess of foundation out, I'm going to use my beauty blender with no product on it. I'm just going to dab, 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 dab all over my face. Now to conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite concealer of all time, the MAC Prolonged Wear Concealer in NC25. Now to contour, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in the color Mink, I think it is. It's the first time that I'm using it, it's in this video, so I was like a bit afraid of how pigmented it was going to be and how it was going to blend, but in the end I just loved the outcome. I'm really obsessed right now with all Anastasia Beverly Hills products. I, I haven't found anything that I really don't like or I really don't love because I love them all. So if you can splurge a bit, go and get all Anastasia Pearl Hills products. I really recommend them. My camera stopped recording and I didn't even notice. So what I did was that I did exactly the same thing that I did on my lid but on my lower lash line and now I'm baking with the MAC Mineralized Ooze Powder in light. Then I'm going to be bronzing with the Too Faced Chocolate Soul Laid Bronzer and I love this bronzer, it smells so good. If you haven't tried it, go and get it, it smells amazing. Then I'm going to be contouring with these two shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to snitch those chicks, the forehead, and then the nose. Going to mix these two colors to get rid of the baking that I have underneath my eyes and on the nose. For blush, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Apricot in the middle. It's a very inexpensive blush, but it looks so pretty and it blends amazingly. I just love it. Can we take a second to admire these highlighters? Yeah, they're just so beautiful. First, I'm going to be using the color 100 on my cheeks, tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, and Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to be putting just right on the very highest points of my cheeks the color 120 I think it is I'm going to list everything below but yeah to glow it's on point I can't ask for more they just look so pretty So now I put on some lashes from House of Lashes in the style Iconic and some mascara and for the lips I'm going to be using CoverGirl Lip Perfection the color Passion and then for the lipstick I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's Stop Light Red 911D Lipstick. After this, the look is complete. I hope you liked it and if you do, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next one guys. Bye!